morning everybody today is vlog day normally i like to keep the vlogs light i like to keep it fun um unfortunately we had an incident in orlando which is about three hours north of us um you know a lot of people died so i have to take time out of the vlog to address this situation to let you guys know give you guys some tips because if this incident was to ever happen again i want you guys to be prepared all right guys everybody saw the news everyone saw what happened on social media i'm not going to get into the specifics of the event but i will give you guys some tips to help increase your chance of survival if you're ever to encounter a situation like this unfortunately this is a day and age that we live in so to not prepare yourself for a situation like this is to set yourself up for failure and failure in this case is death some of these tips are gonna sound like common sense, but if you don't hear them, think about them, when something happens, you're gonna be heightened, you're gonna be excited, you're gonna be scared, and you're not gonna know what to do. So if you think about this now, if a situation ever occurs like this, the thought process will just kick in. First thing, if you hear shots fired, you run. You run in the opposite direction. You grab your child, you tell whoever you're with, let's go and you run i know it sounds simple but you wouldn't imagine how many times people want to stick around to find out what's going on by the time you find out what's going on most likely you're going to be shot injured or dead whenever you go to an event or you go to a mall or you go anywhere where there's going to be large crowds take a second and visualize your exits know where your exits are in the building if you have to get out in a hurry know the quickest exit that's nearest to you okay so let's say that you cannot find an exit, what do I do? You hide. Hide, barricade yourself in an office, barricade yourself behind the door, lock the door, stay quiet. I wouldn't recommend making any phone calls at this point because to make a phone call, you have to talk. And if you're talking, that could give up the area that you're hiding in. Okay, so you're not gonna make any phone calls, but what about text? Remember, you're gonna be excited, you're going to be scared. People are going to be screaming. You might not remember to put your phone on silent. So if you get a notification that makes a loud noise and that can possibly give up your position to someone who's looking to kill you. So try not to use your phone. And if you do remember to put it on silent. And at the very last resort, you fight. You fight for your life. You go for their weapon. You disarm them. You hurt them. You incapacitate them. You stop them from hurting you. There are no rules, anything goes. That person is not playing by the rules when they're out to kill you and kill others. So your last resort, if there's no other means to get away or hide, is to fight. That's that. Um, today, we're gonna be out here on the water. We're gonna be with Marine Patrol on the boats. We're gonna head back to the office. And uh, we're gonna move forward. We're gonna move on. All right, let's get the vlog started. All right, to all my future uh, police officers, you see this here, sitting at the park. Key still in the ignition. This popped. Leaves. Flat tire. What are you thinking? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's stolen. I think that's a shaved key and it's jammed inside the ignition. I'm thinking we gotta get a tow truck out here and make a recovery. 5197. 5197. Is it vlog day? It's vlog day. It's not vlog day. It's vlog day. Oh boy. It's vlog. <laughs> What's going on? Everything good? Everything is great, sir. We have our wonderful gentleman here. I got your meatloaf. Mr. Oh, it's meatloaf. It is meatloaf Wednesday, brother. It is meatloaf Wednesday. It's, it's all about Wednesday when it's meatloaf Wednesday. So, so it's not even, it <laughs> no. trumps vlog day. It trumps vlog day. <laughs> it trumps vlog day. I'm sorry. Meatloaf Wednesday is awesome. All right, guys. You heard him. It's meatloaf Wednesday. <laughs> Caesar, start. 
What's up? Ready to go? All right, we're running late. We got to be out there. Not only is it vlog day, is it meatloaf day? It's also garbage day. It's also garbage day. <laughs> yeah. Save the Earth. Recycle. Go planet. Go planet. It's a little old school. You might not know that. All right, guys, we're here at the marina where the Marine Patrol is stationed. And this is where they keep their fleet, their vessels. We're gonna meet up with the Marine Patrol unit now so they can go through a little bit of their equipment and what they do on a daily basis. Officer Del Castillo, are you home? Hello? Okay, guys, let's do it. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, my brother? How's everything? How you been, bro? Those are some moves right there. Those are some moves hey, right man, there. I learned from the best, baby. Officer Del Castillo, where are we going? We are officially going, uh, starting our day now. Um, we are. Where's the boats at, man? The boats are actually docked over here. Okay, so they're docked okay, over there, so right by the. Basically, we have our boats here. In case of any emergency, our boats are already in the water. Okay. Uh, we normally have two to three boats minimum in the water. We have two or three boats out there in the in the dryer. How many total boats? How many total boats you guys have? We have seven boats right now. Seven boats? Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's talk about your credentials. Yeah. How many years have you been on the department? I've been on about seven and a half years. What have I, you done? Okay. I did two and a half years of Mounted. What's that? Horse patrol? Yeah, check out Mounted Life on Instagram. <laughs> Plug. He's plugging on the vlog. Plug. He's plugging on the vlog. And uh, basically the position came open for a Marine Patrol. And uh, I grew up around boats all my life. You okay. Know? When I was a little kid. I've always wanted to become one of those cops on the boat. So you want to explain what's going on here? Yeah, sure. We got a GPS right here. We got a Garmin GPS. Okay. Tells us not only the depth, but the speed we're going. Okay. Uh, we also have our light box or, you know, with the sirens. All right. Um, Wait, you got sirens on here? Yeah, we got sirens. All right. We have a VHF Marine radio. And, of course, we have our uh, just main radio to dis with dispatch. All right, cool. Obviously, you guys are out here patrolling, but um, are you guys the only agency? Are we the only agency out here patrolling? We're not. We're actually not alone in the waterways out here in Miami. We uh, have different multi-agencies that uh, we can count on if we need uh, assistance. Uh, Miami-Dade Marine Patrol is out here, uh, Coast Guard, FWC, and then all the different muni municipalities such as Key Biscayne, Miami Beach, uh, Marine Patrol. What's, uh, what's FWC? FWC is Florida Wildlife Commission. Oh, okay. And their job is basically, you know, the marine laws. Sounds good. All right. So, you guys got a lot of horsepower back there, right. but yet we're going kind of slow. What's going on? This is uh, idle speed. This is the manatee area. Um, as you can see, people actually dock their boats. Okay. So, um, you don't want to throw. You break any, yeah, right. If you throw any wakes, uh, you're going to cause those boats to. Um, What's wake? What a wake will be the position of the water. Okay. So I guess uh, a wave, let's say. Okay. Uh, you are responsible for your wake at all times. So if you were to uh, go fast in this area and you will cause any accidents, it's on you. Okay. Both so drivers. so the boat the boats can get damaged from rocking from the water. Right. All right. So and you guys do you guys enforce that? We do. Okay. We do. So it's like speeding, I'm guessing, right? Absolutely. All Same right. Thing as speeding and speeding in a car, speeding in a boat. You ready to hold on? Oh yeah. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. All right. <laughs> Guys, look who just showed up. <laughs> Officer Rodriguez, what's up? You guys might know him from the Ultra Vlog. Back at it again on the white vessel. <laughs> and Sarge, what's going on? Sergeant Lai of the Marine Patrol, say hello. All right, Sergeant Lai, tell me what, um, I see some boats here off to the side. The boats on the shore, those are considered at this point derelict vessels. And that's a state uh, classification under the Florida state statute system that basically it's illegal dumping on the water. 
vessels that have become inoperable or ill-maintained, they're not functioning, they're debris, and people will just abandon them. It's expensive to take that boat out of the water, probably a couple thousand to take each one. So what happens is you need to clean up the water. It's an environmental hazard. You can't leave it in there. There is fuel, oil, garbage, and the boat itself becomes a, a hazard to other boaters. So what we do is we come out and we'll get contacted and Officer Estevez usually gets contacted and we'll come out, check the boat. We have to follow the state statute, notify the owners, sticker them, enter it in a database, and ultimately the goal is to remove those boats from the water. So give me a little bit about the Miami River that we're on. The Miami River, you have everything from residences to parks to commercial vessels and commercial operators that go here and park along the river. Even from freighters that come in and bring in commerce from internationally and even drugs internationally. So the Miami River is a very, very busy river. Um, that's why it's heavily patrolled and heavily regulated. Every All of these boats that are here, uh, they all have, you see different numbers, they're regulated through the state and through the county. So, and Customs is out here working as well? Yes, ICE, Customs, and Homeland Security, we work closely with those agencies as well. Um, they do various inter interdictions and investigations. What's an interdiction? For narcotics. Okay. Say they're going to conduct a narcotics investigation and surveillance for any vessels that are coming in. Cool. So Sarge, you mentioned earlier about one of your things is you go diving for articles, right? Yes, uh, can we do dive searches. Can we dive today? No, not right now, but uh, we actually did do a dive yesterday. We did a dive training because since that's one of our functions, we regularly conduct training. Did so, you get some footage for our, our viewers at least? Yes, I did. So right. here's to that. All right, so cool. Let's go check out some of this footage. So Marine Patrol, pretty cool unit. Is there any like qualifications? Because I know like SWAT, you gotta go to SWAT school. Is there anything you have to do to get into Marine Patrol? Yes, in our department you have to pass a pretty hard swim tryout. Um, swim 400 yards, 800 yards, it's all timed. Uh, there's some strenuous tests, tread water for a period of time. So all of our guys that are on the unit are dive certified. So recreational divers and then they end up 
getting trained for police divers and technical diving. Oh, so that's two different, two different. Uh, yeah, you have what well, people go and dive in the pretty coral and see pretty fishes, yep. and then you have police diving at the bottom of boats. So not so pretty. All right. Sarge, you leaving us? Yeah, but come back anytime. Bye. Here goes Sarge. Beep boop. Beep boop. All right, DC. What's this area known for? This area is known for a lot of speeders. They, they don't. Uh, a lot of people they just jump on a boat and they, they really don't know the marine laws. Yeah. So they come out here and they think they can do whatever they like. And you have to be a little bit educated out here in the waterways of Miami. Any waterways, because you just can't jump on a jet ski or a boat, you know, and speed wherever you like. It doesn't work that way. recommendations before they come out on the waterway? Hey, I recommend you maybe downloading the US uh, Coast Guard's uh, app. They have an application, it's free. Um, you download that, it gives you the rules of the road. You can learn a little bit about you know waterways and what the safety requirements you might need. Uh, Anything to pay attention to out here, especially in the Bay Area? Just the signs. The signs, you know, okay. The manatee, the no wig, the, you know. And just, they change up every now and then? Absolutely. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next vlog. Right, DC? Right. Slow down, man. It's just a little rough out here.